All right, first of all, I'd like to say this is video is not a bragging thing, not that there's a lot to brag about, but what, the, what I've gotten here and collected in video games and things was over many years, because I don't tend to sell hardly anything. I keep all my games and things, with very few exceptions. And I just thought I'd share what I've amassed with everybody else. So let me know what you think. All right, first I want to start by saying I'm not a game collector. I just play and happen to keep what I get. And I'm, this isn't going to be one of our uh, comic book room. I'll do another one another day. It's a complete disarray right now. I've recently been moving the comic book room. But anyway, that's the futon that we sit on while we play. A uh, little frugal and I play games together and things. So let me show you what that looks like. All right. So when we're sitting on the futon, futon there, we have that system set up there that computer there that I use to record the footage we can also play games there um I do have emulated games on there I know uh, that could cause issues with people but I just want to specify one thing we only emulate the games that we actually own and we do that sometimes when shooting footage because it's a lot easier than rehooking a whole bunch of different stuff up plus it's also set up like this too because maybe um maybe the wife is playing GameCube or something and Little Frugal is playing Super Nintendo. One can be playing them on the monitor, one can be playing on the TV, which I did get for free. That TV stand and that TV were free. If we zoom in there, you'll see I usually have multiple console, console set up. Right now I have a GameCube in there, a Nintendo, and a Super Nintendo. I have quite a few other game systems that I hook up as needed. If you go to our top of our bookshelf, you'll see that, yes, we're guided and watched by Yoda. And I have a uh, Atari flashback up there that we pull out to Little Frugal and I to play games. And that whole bag there is filled with Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, all kinds of Game Boy games. If you shoot to the next shelf, you'll see that we have uh, GameCube games in there on that particular shelf. Sometimes I move stuff around based on how many games I have in that. I recently had Atari and Genesis games in there, but I moved it to a different shelf. You keep going to the next shelf, and this shelf contains PlayStation 2 games and my PlayStation Vita. We go down to yet another shelf, and this shelf happens to have the PlayStation 3 games that I have beaten, and it's a pretty good sized shelf. And the shelf below that has the Nintendo games and Nintendo 64 games in a case. Now, if I go from there, all right, from there I hit the plastic boxes. And the plastic boxes have all kinds of different games and things in it, too. For example, this bottom drawer is loaded with Nintendo DS games and some more advanced games that didn't actually fit in that bag I was talking about earlier. The next drawer has stuff like uh, game genies and controllers, things like that, odds and ends equipment. All right, next, if we shift to the other set of drawers, these plastic drawers are loaded with Super Nintendo games. So, have a lot of those as well. If we move above, above those plastic shelves, you'll see these shelves here, these two black ones. That has PlayStation games and Dreamcast games. All right, next I'm gonna move to the other side here. All right, next we're gonna move over to this shelf here and this side, and over here, uh, these are where I don't have some systems. I don't, I don't have all my systems hooked up all the time. I hook them up as I need them. I have the Dreamcast there, a PlayStation 1. Below it, you'll notice I mentioned earlier that I moved my Atari games and Genesis games. They're on that shelf there. If we drop another shelf below that, I have another Super Nintendo and a Genesis. And uh, in front of that, I have an amplifier and a guitar that I use to do some music and stuff for the videos here and there. Or just tweak around if you like playing when I don't want to be in my studio. If you look behind that amplifier, you'll see I have an Atari 7800 under there as well on another shelf. Then that brings me up to this shelf next over here. Okay. And on this shelf, I have some more controllers and game systems. I have a Nintendo 64 there, several game controllers that are hard to fit in the drawers like the NES Advantage. I have a uh, Super Nintendo one like that as well. And something that a lot of people don't have is the conga drums. <laughs> I gotta have those awesome good controllers. All right, also if you move over here, I got the disk drives and stuff for the Commodore 64, as well as some older Game Boys back here, because I have multiple Game Boys and don't use them all. Which then brings me to the drawers that I'm gonna move to below. All right, these drawers here all have controllers in them. So for example, this has Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo controllers in here. We shift to the next drawer below that and you're gonna see there that there is GameCube 
and regular Nintendo controllers. We go to the next drawer down and we have Sega Genesis and Dreamcast and some computer controllers. And you move to the bottom drawer there, you'll see that's where I keep the guns, like the Dreamcast gun, the PlayStation Namco gun, the Sega Master System gun, and several zappers for the Nintendo Entertainment System there. The classic, of course. We move over, we move up and over to this set of drawers, and I have several PlayStation 1 and 2 controllers, as well as computer and Dreamcast. All right, next, if we look over here, that's where I keep a lot of odds and ends, materials and things that I use for, you know, odds and ends stuff. I also usually always have a box of comics there at all times, uh, whatever long box I feel of uh, bringing out and reading through series. So, for example, if I'm doing an episode of Flashback from the Stash, and I have several other ones that I'm reading, I'll put them in that box and store them in there. Also, I have cabinets up here that I store other materials and equipment uh, and things like that for my videos. All right, so now for the fun section here. Okay, this is where the work gets done. <laughs> All right, so I usually use that laptop there to do most of my recording, and when I do the audio, you'll notice the better sounding audio ones I do uh, is one just sitting right at my desk using that blue Yeti mic. That tends to work really good. Granted, I have lots of other great mics. It's just not as easy to do those for the for the, the stuff when I'm not sitting right next to it. So anyway, so going on to that, let's take a look at that. I usually run everything through that little t little TV there. It's not a huge TV there. It's what I do what I'm most of my gaming on, especially when I'm recording footage. And I just record it right into that laptop, and I'll show you how in a minute. Now on top of that, this shelf here, this is my Xbox games right up here. This is my Xbox games and PlayStation games, uh, PlayStation 3 games that I have not played in my backlog, except for the ones that are standing vertical, the vertical ones. I've beaten those. Uh, I just don't have a shelf yet for my Xbox games set up. And uh, my PlayStation shelf, I just, when I beat the PlayStation 3 games, I move it on over. Now there's other games I beat, of course, on all those other shelves. Uh, I just put them in separate areas so I know which ones I beat. So now let's go to my desk. All right, so as I said, this is the area of my desk. Here is where I do my Let's Plays and things. So if you look over here, I have a PlayStation 2 set up over here. Now another thing I do is when I use it and record footage, uh, from some of these systems like that. If I can't hook them right up to the HDMI, because I don't have that, I have this mini AV2 HDMI splitter. It takes a system that doesn't use HDMI and allows me to convert it into HDMI. Now granted, it's not the best looking thing, but it gets the job done. All right, also up here, I have additional Game Boy stuff when I'm playing Game Boys and my backup hard drives and things in case something happens. All right, next, if you're wondering also then how I record the footage, I do that because I have a splitter here where I use this splitter box and I use that to split any of the systems. So I can just unplug pretty much whatever system I have hooked up at the time. I just unplug it here and plug in the system I want to use. And that is going to then record through the Elgato. That's going to record through the Elgato game capture right there. Then all I have to do is sit there. I got the cord right here. I just plug it right to the laptop. On top of that, if I want to record Vita footage, I use the Vita TV, if possible, if that game is compatible with it. If not, unfortunately, then I have to use it and hold the system like that up in front of the camera, and that's really hard to do. All right, the next thing we do is take you underneath the, the shelves of the desk. All right, so if we move down from there, and we just go right on down here, I have a PlayStation 3 that's hooked up. That's one of those I can just hook up right to the HM HDMI anytime. And then below that, I have an Xbox 360. And then below that, I have extra controllers and things like that. All right, also when I'm recording retro games, if I don't want to use it on the emulation, because you know, most of the time I don't use the emulation. I only use it on rare occasion for recording games. Most of the time, this is how I do it here. I use the, the uh, well, it's a little dusty at the moment, the Retron 5. And I just put the card screen in here and run that HDMI through my, my HDMI, run it to the TV. And the Elgato and that's that's the way I record most of my old school games right there it's a little easier to pull out the classic console and using the converter boxes just the quality isn't as good that way so it gets a better quality this way but I will AB check them first to make sure the audio and video is very similar because I don't want to mislead anybody all right so 
If you also notice I have a fan over there, I usually run that uh, when I'm doing live streams and things to keep cool because where the Captain America mask can get a little warm. Uh, also, I have this piece of artwork right here sitting here. Uh, that piece of artwork I'm going to talk about in a later video that was a uh, Frugal Forest gift to me and I greatly appreciate it. All right, so that is the Frugal Fortress. That's where I do things. I said it's not super spectacular or anything. I mean, you might not, you couldn't really maybe tell all the games I have, but I am doing videos on the games I have because uh, I do have a lot. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. And hey, if you have your man cave or whatever you tend to call it, your female super center, you know, go ahead. I'd love to see videos or pictures of that and see what you did. Maybe it'll give me some setup ideas too because I know I need them. I, as I said, I need to have space for games I've got to put up yet and things like that. So I'm always looking for interesting ways and I, uh, great ways to set things up and change things. I do want to hang up some more artwork on the walls. So that art piece is definitely going to be on the walls there too. Another thing I didn't mention is you might have seen some uh, green drapery hanging down behind my shelves and things. That's for green screen, so if I want to start dabbling in that, I've been looking into doing that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit like and subscribe, and make sure you ring that bell to let people know, hey, notify you when the Frugal Force videos are out there. And if you really want to help me and support me, because I do not run any advertising on YouTube. I also want to do my chats. There's no super chat fee and everything else, because I, I don't really want to support fi YouTube financially. But I do like uh, what Vidme is doing. So I do have Vidme where you can subscribe for as little as a dollar a month and or even give a tip because I tend to like the way they treat their content creators better. So I've been making sure I try to support that platform when it comes to the dollars. All right. And if you like other videos and things, check us out at thehenchmenslounge.com. So I hope you stuck it out all the way through this video. As I said, send me pics. Matter of fact, the fifth person to either send me pics of their man cave female cave whatever you want to call it uh send me pics or a video response just make sure you pm me on twitter so it's the fifth person to respond in the twitter will get a frugal force prize once again the frugal force prizes are of course frugal but hey it's still something free and appreciation for being part of the community all right until next time keep it frugal